Let's draw all the constitutional isomers of C4H10O. Constitutional isomers, also called structural isomers, are molecules that have the same molecular formula but different structure. So our isomers must have four carbons, 10 hydrogens, and one oxygen. And before we start doing this problem, I just want to know that in order for carbon to be neutral, it wants to have four bonds. And for oxygen, it wants to have two bonds. And what that means for oxygen is that either we will have an alcohol group, so either we will have OH, oxygen connected to a hydrogen, or we will see an ether where oxygen will be in between two carbons. So let's get started. The way I will start is I will draw the longest continuous carbon chain using my carbons. I have four carbons, so I will draw a four carbon chain. And then I am going to add OH to it and I will see all the different positions OH could add, be added. So I can add it to carbon number one and I could also add it to carbon number two. Note that I could add it to this position or this position and that would be the same molecule. So if I would draw this for example, this molecule is the same as this because when I number here I would start from the left and here I will start numbering from the right. So it's very important not to draw the same molecule. OH could be added either to the first carbon or to the second carbon. If I add it to the third it would be the same as this one and adding it here would be the same as this one. Another way I could add oxygen is in between my carbons. So for example, I could have oxygen and then I would have one, two, three, and four. So I could have an ether like this, four carbons and oxygen here. And another way I could draw my ether is I could have it after two carbons like this. I still have one, two, three, four carbons and an oxygen in between or one carbon, oxygen, and then three carbons. Now that I'm done with uh, drawing out four carbons, what I could do next is I could draw a three carbon chain and I could add the extra carbon to the middle carbon, making a different molecule. Now, let's see where I could add my OH. Again, I could get OH to either one of these carbons, that would be to the first carbon, or I could get add OH to my middle carbon. And another way I could draw this molecule, I cannot add OH in any other positions because that would make the same molecules as I have drawn already. But what I can do is I can make another ether. So I could add an oxygen in between one of these and that would give me an ether and i think these are all of the possibilities of the m different molecules i can draw so i have one two three four five six seven constitutional isomers of c4h10o